This is the 2019 Math Kangaroo Levels 5-6, Problem Number 24. Benjamin writes a number into the first circle. He then carries out the calculations as instructed and each time writes down the results in the respective circles. How many of the six numbers are divisible by three? A, one, B, two, C, one or two, D, two or three, E, three or four. Let's start by writing the first number as being x. Here it says to add one, so the next number must be x plus one. Adding another one, we will get x plus two. Then we must multiply this by three. And then add two to that. And then multiply all of that by two. The question asks for how many of the six numbers are divisible by three. Let's start by noting that this number over here must be divisible by three as it is three times the quantity of x plus two. So we know we have at least one number that's definitely divisible by three. Now let's take a look at these three numbers over here. In any set of three consecutive positive integers, one and only one of the numbers will be divisible by three. Let's try this out by doing a few examples. If we write the numbers one through 10, and then form various groups of three, we will see that in each group of three, there is one number that is divisible by three. So for example, in this group, one, two, three, three is divisible by three. Then in this group, two, three, four, three is again that number that's divisible by three. If we have three, four, five, again, three. So in any group, of three consecutive positive integers, one and only one of those numbers is divisible by three. So even though we don't know if it's x, x plus one, or x plus two, one of those numbers will be divisible by three. So we know we definitely have one more number divisible by three. Now let's take a look at the last two numbers. This number, is two plus the previous number. Knowing that the previous number was a multiple of three, we know that this number cannot also be a multiple of three, as you can't add two to a multiple of three and get a multiple of three. You would have to add three to a multiple of three in order to get a multiple of three. So that's not divisible by three. And then for the final number, it's two times the previous number. If you multiply a number that's not divisible by three by two, you wouldn't get a multiple of three. So that one's also not divisible by three. That means that we have a total of two numbers that are divisible by three. This is answer choice B. Thank you so much for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe.